Hi everyone, welcome to Mauritius on a Budget. We're going to be eating street food. We've set ourselves a goal of $10, which is about 400 rupees. And each. we each, each, mm. awesome. So that's extra money. But we're going to see if we can actually do it. If we can eat just street food for the whole day and still have money left over at the end. We'll keep a scorecard so you guys can follow along. <laughs> Let's go check out the street food. So you spent the morning on the beach and now you're getting hungry for breakfast. The street food is right there. Let's go get some. You can have so, coffee also here if you want. Okay, wow, this place actually does coffee. That's great news for yeah. a breakfast. But we found that they do a single banana. So we're getting a single banana because you've got to be a little bit healthy. So we're going to do the healthy banana. 10, 10 rupees. rupees. <laughs> awesome, banana. There's a lot of street food here in Grand Bay to choose from. But I think we're going to go with the traditional breakfast. Which we're going to get. spend all our money. <laughs> <laughs> this is the roti and yeah. then a dalpuri with. Dalpuri no chili. Dalpuri no chili. And these are fresh gato pimons just come out of the fryer. Onion, yes. Uh, how much are they? Three, four days of this. Onion bhajis, these things are irresistible. And three for ten rupees, you can't go wrong on a budget. Yeah. Yes, that's 40 rupees so far. So wow, that's cool. So onion bhajis, dalpuri and rati. Awesome. Oh, wow, that's so nice. She gave us a free ghetto pima. Yeah, hot, hot, hot. Oh. Awesome. Ghetto pima, when they're hot, are simply adorable. There you go. <laughs> this is a luda and it's getting some red stuff. Labus. Labus. So there's Labus, and then this is the actual Aluda, which is milk based. Oh, and it comes in a cup. Yeah, and so here we've got Aluda, which is so amazing like milk and strawberry and bits of jelly and uh, basil seed. 20 rupees. Okay, so we got our, our roti, and we've got our dal puri, and we've got our little bhajis. Yeah, and the banana. This looks like a great breakfast. This is all for me. So, oh, yeah. if you think of that, that's 40, 50, 60, 70 rupees for breakfast. Check that out. 70 rupee breakfast. What's that like? Less than $2. Life doesn't get much better than that. Well, I'm trying the Aluda first. Uh -huh. Oh, it's milky. Oh, and it's strawberry. Yeah, they're oh. really, really yummy for breakfast. And they have all that ice in it, so it's really cold. Cold, yeah. Mm. Yeah, awesome. Perfect breakfast start. Mauritius's national dish. Dalpuri. Actual national dish is a dalpuri. Have a look inside. Oh, it's fillings. And this is uh, like a split pea. Split pea, and they always come two. Mm. Let's see. Mauritius's national dish. <laughs> Could you take a bigger bite? <laughs> And pause, we'll be back to you after this. <laughs> well, I'm gonna do some rachi now. Mm. Also, great classic breakfast. You'll find this sort of food anywhere, anywhere on the island. Mm -hmm. You'll find the street food breakfast. This is Ricky trying the bhaji. Oh, these are lovely. Crisp and yum, and she did put relish on, so. There we go. Mm. And then Ricky mm. with the beach behind her. Mm. Mm. Top notch. Is there any chili on it? Mm. So you don't have to go for the Aluda. No. Awesome. Top street food tip. Bring your own little cloth so that you can wipe your hands because these things do get messy. Wow, that was actually a lot of food. We managed to finish it off, but <laughs> oh man. Yeah. I am really full. I really am full. Love to have another one of those dull puris, but I don't think there's space. Yeah, amazing. 70 rupees. So we still got 3.30 left. Let's go spend it for <laughs> lunch in about four hours. Exactly. <laughs> we have been burning our breakfast off and uh, I stopped and got myself a water, 20 rupees. Keep hydrated and you can always refill it. So just ask, someone will refill it for you. Yeah, and it's completely safe to drink the tap water. We do it all the time. Lunch is quite important. So there are a few options to go for, but we're going to go for a three course meal. There's some biryani there, and there's also some bread that you actually put curries in. Chinese beef. This is a beef biryani. Oh wow! 
Look at the size of that chicken brioni. It is massive. Wow. The brionis are 150. Let's go see if there's something else. All sorts of things that you can put onto a baguette. Chicken and the beef. Oh, oh look at this. How much is it to put like beef onto six, a bread? Six, 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 60 zero. rupees. Wow. Okay, so here you can see the classic. You get this massive bread roll. And there you go, putting the curry into the bread. Awesome. Chicken tikka as well. So another choice here, chicken tikka, freshly fried. There's the freshly frying pan fried, right yeah, there. Yeah. And there's With the tikka. salad and fries, With yeah? salad and chips. Wow, on the street. Just in it? case you don't believe me, we're on the street. 50 rupees, nice. Oh wait, you know we always love seeing people make fresh things on the street. Look at that, look how quickly he did that. <laughs> Aubergine. Aubergine. Eggplant. Eggplant, yeah. brinjal. brinjal. Dunk it, in it goes. Oh, amazing. Get a bit more. Oh, cool. Get a bit more. Oh, they're hot, they're really hot. <laughs> they're in my fingers. Here, I'll give you one. Hot get a bit more. Yeah. Thank you. Well, it looks like I finally got my 12 Z's <laughs> just before lunch. Mmm. Mmm. Good, let me see. Oh. Oh. <laughs> And you know it's super fresh because he's frying them right here. Oh, this is halim. It smells amazing. What type of halim? Has it got meat in? Yes. Mutton, mutton. The smell coming off that is beautiful. Well, I think we've actually found our starter. Hot. Too hot. <laughs> so she put the ingredients in first, which is the, the salad and the meat, and then the oh, halim the goes on top. Wow. Here we are, and you get a little bit of vinegar, and you can choose vinegar chili, lemon. but that's Ricky's one, so no chili oh, for Ricky. Oh, with lemon. Okay. Awesome. This is vinegar with lemon. It goes beautifully with halim. You can come and sit here, and there's the vinegar and the chili and some salt if you need. Yeah, but we've decided we're going to sit on the street because it's street food. <laughs> Whoa. Gorgeous, mutton and halim. Look at what's at the bottom. Yeah, some chopped up. What ones? And meat. <laughs> There's vegetables in that, so it's very healthy. Street food Halim, only 35 rupees for all of that. And really hot. <laughs> Can you believe oh, it? Oh, wow, look at that. That is hearty goodness. <laughs> oh, Halim, one of my favorite winter dishes. Now you can get it in summer. Yeah. Great, it's a meal in its own. I don't know how we're going to manage a three course. Mm. <laughs> I can't imagine getting bread on the side, but you can get bread on the side. It's actually quite nice. Mm -hmm. Great starter. So now we're at 125. Yeah, still got loads of money left. So these are the noodles being cooked expertly. Fried wow. Noodles, fresh, made. fresh made fried noodles right here on the street. And you can tell they're fresh because. I'm about to eat them and I'm on the street. Awesome. So I got myself a tamarind juice. Tamarind uh, and mango. Tamarind and mango. It's always got a little bit of refreshment in it because there's a bit of salt. Great. And that whole big cup is 15 rupees. Icy cold. Drink on the go and enjoy. Deliciousness. Always chili and garlic and vinegar available. Chicken noodles. Chicken fried noodles with some chili. Well, we brought our own plate and our own chopsticks, but this was bought on the street. Oh, yeah. Wow. So let's get a bit of chili on there and... <laughs> Chicken fried noodles. <laughs> you can eat them all in one bite. Uh, that was 100 rupees. Mm. And always carry around your own containers because you can save a little bit. Mm. You don't have to pay for the takeaway container cost. This is Ricky eating some noodles. <laughs> How beautiful is that sea view? That is our location for noodle eating. Well, that was fantastic, completely finished. Another 115 to the total, so that takes us to 240. We've got to find pudding and something for supper. And maybe three Z's. <laughs> <laughs> You're kidding, right? <laughs> 
So we found an ice cream stand with an ice cream. So I'm gonna get an ice cream for mine. So there we are, we've got loads of choices, vanilla and pineapple. Yes. There's straight up vanilla and there's also an almond one, which is the green one in yes. there. Pudding! So we came to Cap Milleroy because it has the best ice cream. Mm-hmm. On the street. Ooh. Mm. Oh, it looks lovely. Mm. <laughs> Refreshing on a hot day. And 25 rupees. And it, it's creamy as well. And pineapple-y. How did it get so pineapple-y? <laughs> Ooh. Ice cream. By the famous Red Roof Church. And it matches. <laughs> it's got a red roof. <laughs> <laughs> wow, okay. So this just in. This nice lady, she actually makes these herself. At home, completely homemade by hand. That's amazing. Yeah, it's totally yummy. Red Roof Church, come get them. Yes. It's worth the trip. Lots of different flavors as well. Well, it looks like we found the grill and that's going to be our supper. Something from the grill. Oh my word, can you smell what the grill is cooking? <laughs> so we're going to get one of these pieces of chicken, some bread, and some salad for 150 which takes us to whatever it says up there. I don't know anymore. I've lost count. Okay, so secret marinade sauce and chicken on the grill. Here's the chef, so he's telling us he's got lamb also. Okay, five o'clock you start. So time to finish to my job. Wow. Sometimes got one o'clock, two o'clock in the morning. So popular, popular, right here on the main road. Oh, he cuts the bread into pieces. Right, right all the way through. Add wood. But then garlic. Garlic butter. butter. Oh, garlic butter. Wow. Oh, wow. Nah. Garlic bread. Ah. And back on it goes. Onto the grill with the bread with the garlic butter. Mmm, paint on the special basting sauce. This stuff is what makes it smell so delicious. It's absolutely irresistible. Okay, Ooh. so we brought our own plate, cool tip. So now he's putting the salad and a bit of mayonnaise on there. And these guys still cooking away nicely. And the bun is still going over the flames. Awesome. Top tip, someone just called the chef and said they're coming to order something. And so he's preparing it so they can just drive past. You can see where Tammy's parked over there. And pick it up super easily. Uh -huh. There we are, look at that! A beautiful plate of fried foods! Yum! Oh man! Wait, there, there's a happy Rick pointing at it! Look ah. at that! 150! Oh man! Wow. 150! Yummy, yummy, yummy! Let me just make sure I'm focused on that! Yummy, yummy, yummy! Oh wow, wow! If your mouths weren't watering before, for this dinner course, they are going to be super watering. Fresh off the grill, hot garlic bread. Ooh, it's crispy. Yeah, that's kind of cool because not everyone does the garlic bread, so mm -hmm. sometimes they just give you bread, but garlic bread, awesome touch. <laughs> Dip it in the basting sauce, absolutely. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, the proof is actually in the chicken. Mm. Soft and tasty. Wow, that does look good. And I, I, I licked a bit before, so I know it's good. <laughs> oh wow, that is the softest, juiciest, flavorful chicken that I actually have eaten in a long, long time. <laughs> that guy knows his sauce. Awesome. Oh. Wow, look at that. That is a hot dog off the grill. How much does this one cost? This is uh, 50 rupees. 50 rupees for this huge hot dog. Wow. Wow, Mauritian street food on a budget. You are certainly not going to go hungry. And everything we ate was fantastic. So, everyone, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time. A little bit of behind the scenes for you guys. <laughs> We're actually sharing all of this because it's so much food. And we've actually got most of the noodles still to take home for maybe tomorrow. 